Well, welcome back everyone. Went in and sat down with a little bit of ice and uploaded that last video. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. We'll go ahead and get into this uh, choke cable. It uh, looks like it's going to require to take the little bit of the cowling off around the gas tank and the engine. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started on that. I've already got the left side done and I got my other camera set up here and we'll go ahead and take this right side off. So come on along. We'll see how we can go ahead and get this cable changed. All right, looks like we're gonna have to take this cowl off right here. And uh, just gotta take these little black clips out, hold it on. I think there's a bolt or two or screws underneath this black piece by the pull handle. So we'll uh, just let you look over my shoulder and I'll go ahead and take this off. Okay, they're not very hard to take off these little clips. Just gotta, there's a little little shoulder under there and I just use a pair of side cutters just reach under there give them a little wiggle and pull the center out and then the, the pin will work right out of there sometimes the center comes all the way out and you gotta grab the base of it slide out so, there you go put the center back in. That's what it looks like. There's oh a half a dozen of them here. that there that's got a bolt in it. So I believe it's a 10 millimeter right here. Let me just break that loose. been laying there. Doesn't look like that was clipped on anymore. Huh. All right. And let's see. Looks like that's the choke cable. Comes underneath that clip right there. Okay. 
Hmm? Hoping I don't have to take this front cover off. See where all that how it's threaded down through there. All right, I got you on the other side here now. On the left side, we got to take this this uh, air intake off because my choke connection is right there, and I just can't seem to get to it. So we'll go ahead and loosen up this little clamp right here. Just lay that right over there. Okay, let me get you down here where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, it looks like the choke goes in right here. And uh, we'll go ahead and See if we can't loosen up that nut right there and get at it. All right, that just unscrewed out of there. And it looks like the choke mechanism is just attached right to the end of the cable. See if you can get that right there. So I don't think it's going to be very difficult to change that. I'll go ahead and pop that off and uh, then we'll try to thread the new cable in. So we'll get to taking that apart. All right, I got you up on top now. Looks like there's a little spring mechanism there. And then this uh, little elbow. And just spin this clamp off. Little wire clamp. Slide that up there. That allows that to slide a little bit. Little spring mechanism there. Slide it up over it and there it out it popped. Okay. Now that should slide right out of there just like that okay, we'll set that over on the bench so we don't lose any parts to it there's the choke mechanism that slides in and out grab this little spring off of here so we don't lose it okay, we should be able to just pull this choke cable right on up and out of there okay there you go, there's the old broke cable. And you can see the nut where it broke off there. Okay, now we gotta thread this new cable back in. All right, I went ahead and threaded that through there. It would have been hard to film under that cowling, but I got it all, all the way around. Um, So we'll go ahead and and uh, do this upper mount. This just screws off plastic nut. There's a on the threaded bolt here. There's a flat side, and on the mount there's a flat. So we'll just snap that over, line up them flats, run this nut back up.
a 17 millimeter. We'll just kind of tighten that down a little bit. Not too tight. Remember, it's only plastic. Check our operation. That looks really good, nice and solid. Okay, we'll come around on the carburetor side and uh, hook up that little end that we took off. And I'll bring you down on here to show you how to do that. All right, got you back up on top. See where we're at here. All right, hopefully you can see it. I'll try to keep it right here in the frame. First of all, we need to put this little wire clip on, a little uh, wire clamp. Then the little elbow, and that just slides through there. Just kind of work it around. The cable end's got to come out through there. So just kind of work that around. Try to give it a spin here. Maybe we can. There, but part of the way through. There it is. Okay, we'll shove that down where it seats good. There's our little ball. Okay, the spring goes down over that. And now we kind of push down on that spring. Grab a hold of that cable just above that ball, like that. And then that little ball fits in that groove. Got to kind of slide it in to press that spring and then let the spring pop out over the end of that shaft and that keeps the end of the cable in. Just like that. Pretty slick. And we'll go ahead and put the clamp back on. Just like that. Okay, I'll bring you down. Watch, let you watch me hook that up. Okay, we'll go ahead and hook that up to the carburetor. I'm going to uh, make sure this is good and clean where it goes down in. So we got a nice clean rag. We'll go ahead and wipe that off just a little bit. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of lube on that. There's a little o-ring right there. I didn't put much on there, just enough to kind of moisten it. Now that slides into that hole. That's got to go up and down fairly easy. You know, that's that's what chokes it. And then we'll go ahead and tighten that up. started by hand. It's a, again, it's a plastic nut. And that's a 14 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and snug that down just a little bit so it don't vibrate loose. I'm not going to really reef on it. Like I say, it's only plastic. In fact, it's got a little paint mark on there from when they assembled it in the factory and I'll just line those paint marks up. So, okay. That's it. We'll go ahead and put the air intake back on. Vent lines. The air intake down through here. That snaps in the clamp. Just like that. Swing that clamp up a little bit. Tighten that down. That feels pretty good. All right.
All right, before we get it all back together, let's go ahead and give it a try. Make sure that it, uh, everything works before we tie that cable back in. And gas cap. Probably warm enough, won't even need to choke. We'll go ahead and get her fired up. Another repair done. We'll go ahead and tighten up these clamps I took off. Put the shroud back on. And it'll be ready to go out again. So, another successful repair. Okay, there you go. I got the, I don't know what you call it, fairing or body panel around the gas tank all put back on. Oh, better put the gas cap on. Don't spill no gas. So there's that. Needs to be washed. Kind of dirty, but there you go. Everything's all back in, nice and tight looking. Got this little cover here to put back on over the the pull rope right there. So that just slides down in there and then snaps in. Get lined up with a the hole. There we go. That finishes that off. Probably got to do the same thing to the other side. Yep, it's still laying up here on the bench. And it goes on this side. It just kind of drops down in the groove here. And then it lines up in that hole right there. Just like that. And that finishes that. Oh, got to get the little hook here lined up. It's in there, bottom one in. Gotta get them all three lined up at once, so kind of a puzzle. There we go, that looks better. All right, let's take her out and see what she'll do. Don't need the choke on, they're in neutral. The go button fires right up. Reverse. Got to keep swapping hands here. Hit the trailer. First gear. here neutral shut her down try this park brake okay okay she's solid all right so that's another one fixed ready for the road again all right thanks for watching